What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's up? What's up, everybody? Back with another one from the Amazing Plays playlist where we dissect and analyze uh, video footage, uh, plays from an individual player or a team. And today we have Stevie Francis, a.k.a. the franchise Steve Francis, um, I definitely have to do like a Steve Francis video just talking about him because Francis was one of those players that I was scared of, especially as a Laker fan because we usually had problems staying in front of small, quick point guards that had good ball handling and were shifty, especially ones that could score on top of their penetration. Um, Stevie Francis was one of those players that generally gave us trouble it gave a lot of teams trouble, to be honest with you. Francis had an incredible handle. One of those kind of players that had the ball on a string. Francis was so quick. Great first step. Uh, great hezzy. Great hezzy move. Pull back, crossover. And then, the thing about Francis, he was an amazing finisher at the rim. Francis was a high flyer dunker. A small statured. Small size, high flyer will dunk on you. Explosive, explosive. So this is one of my uh, favorite Stevie Francis plays. I remember this from back in the 2000s. Uh, Troy Hudson was guarding him, and he was just toying with Troy Hudson, playing with his food, sir. Playing with his food. Let's check it. This is a rare gem. I don't think a lot of people have seen this, so let's get into it. Toying with it. Ball on the screen. As he up fake. Turning round and round like a top. Steve Francis putting on a show. What a game by Stevie Ooh. Franchise. Check that one out one more time in real time. Just watch how he's just lulling him to sleep. Playing with him. Ball on the string. Oh, Steve Francis. He just gets better. How quick he is. He had Troy Hudson turning round and round like a top. Steve Francis putting on a show. What a game by Stevie Franchise. You know, people people have a short memory span, but you know, when they talk about ball handlers, this is a guy that never gets mentioned. I'm like, Francis was that dude. These days, people only think the only players that had ball handling, elite ball handling, were Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving, they have literally forgotten about everybody else. And though a lot of people, some of these people that are saying this, are people that don't even know who Stevie Francis is. I'll be honest with you. Francis was a bull, man, a bull. Let's play around with it in slow motion. Not a whole lot of analysis involved. Pretty straightforward. It's a complete isolation play. But he is just lulling him to sleep here. And Francis, similar to Iverson, you couldn't always, unless you were like a super, super elite defender, that could match his quickness and speed, and you know you had somebody at the rim waiting for him or, or some type of help, you probably wanted to give him a little bit of space to force him to shoot a jumper and then lunge at him for a contest. But Francis wasn't a poor mid-range shooter. Francis could shoot the ball admirably. Like, you had to respect Stevie Francis' jump shot. But you kind of, you didn't want to get burnt either. But even even giving him the thinking you're giving him enough space for you to contest after he commits to a jump shot, he can still still back you up and create more space with a flurry of moves. With a flurry. And this is back in a time where you could put more of a body on players. You could be more physical with players and there wouldn't be foul calls. But uh, you know, Francis was just as you can see, an elite ball handler. Lulling him to sleep. Ooh, just makes him step back easy with that little jab forward. Forward movement jab. Back him up. He could have pulled up right there if he wanted to. Troy Hudson really didn't have supreme athleticism where he would have been able to really contest that shot. But like I said, he's just toying with his food. Francis is playing with him. Comes over left behind the back crossover. Catches the ball in his right hand extends it after it's in his right like that and then crosses back a light cross step back look how much space he created and he still's not done he's still toying with him between the legs 
Let me reset real quick. Between the legs again. Hard right crossover. Ooh. Ooh. Has he up fake? You think I'm going to shoot? Nope. Got you jumping. I just had to toy with you a little bit more, Troy Hudson. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Step in. Lots. Now, it, honestly, I think that's. Is that, uh, I don't know who's that. I'm not sure who that is under the paint. I want to say Olu Candy, but I'm not sure Olu Candy played for the Rockets. No, Olu Candy played for the Clippers. Um. But yeah, steps into it. Nice floater. Long floater. Bank shot. Bank shot. See it slow motion from this angle. What? Between the legs. I wish they would have stayed at that view. Behind the back crossover. Ball on the string. Step back. Then he's going to go into his reset into a full crossover. Er, has he? No, that ain't Olo Candy. I don't think Olo Candy ever played for the Cl uh, for the Rockets. Oh no, that is the Clippers. I was right. Nah, I'm curious as to who that is. Hold on, I gotta look this up. This is bothering me. All right, so this guy's name is Keith Kloss. I don't even I don't even remember who that is. But coincidentally, I was right. Olo Candy did play for the Clippers, and Olo Candy was on the roster at this time. But that wasn't Olo Candy. Well, once I saw this hairdo and the light skin, I was like, that's definitely not a little candy. But what I said, Keith Klaus, Klaus, I don't even remember that guy. But yeah, nasty, nasty, nasty stuff by, by, by Francis. He could have pulled up at any time. He could have pulled up here. He's just toying with him, man. He having fun. He said, I'm going to make this a complete highlight reel. How many times can I embarrass you in one play? Nasty stuff by Stevie Francis. That's all for this one. Like I said, not a whole lot of analysis, straightforward um, isolation, you know, not a whole lot of other player movement or anything to really look at. But, you know, very well done. Very well done by the Francis. Uh, one of these days, I, I am going to do a video talking about Stevie Francis, man. I think he went to Maryland, right? I think he did. Because I used to live in Maryland. I think his jersey was hanging up in the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know what you think about this one. Be blessed and I catch you on the next one. We out, baby.